paradox, the information paradox of black holes. What is it? So this is what catapulted Hawking's fame. When he was a young researcher, he was thinking about black holes and wanted to just add a little smidge of quantum mechanics, just a little smidge, you know, wasn't going for full-blown quantum gravity, but kind of just asking, well, what if I allowed this nothing, this vacuum, this empty space around the event horizon? The star is gone, there's nothing there. What if I allowed it to possess sort of ordinary quantum properties, just a little tiny bit, you know, nothing dramatic. Don't go crazy, you know. And one of the properties of the vacuum that um, is intriguing is this idea that you can never say the vacuum's actually completely empty. We, we talked about Heisenberg, but you know, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle really kicked off a lot of quantum mechanical thinking. It says that you can never exactly know a particle's position simultaneously with its motion, with its momentum. You can know one or the other pretty precisely, but not both precisely. And the uncertainty isn't a lack of ability that we'll technologically overcome. It's fo foundational. So that there's, in some sense, when it's in a precise location, it is fundamentally no longer in a precise motion. And that uncertainty principle means I can't precisely say a particle is exactly here, but it also means I can't say it's not. <laughs> Okay. And so it led to this idea that what do I mean by a vacuum? Because I can't 100% precisely know. In fact, there's not really meaningful to say that there's zero particles here. And so what you can say, however, is you can say, well, maybe particles kind of froth around in this seething quantum sea of the vacuum. Um, maybe Two particles come into existence and they're entangled in such a way that they cancel out each other's properties. So they they have the properties of the vacuum. You know, they don't they don't destroy the kind of properties of the vacuum because they cancel out each other's spin, maybe each other's charge, maybe things like that. But they kind of froth around. They come, they go, they come, they go. And that's what we really think is the best that empty space can do in a quantum mechanical universe. Now, if you add an event horizon, which as we said, is really fundamentally what a black hole is, that's the most important feature of a black hole. The event horizon, if the particles are created slightly on either side of that event horizon, now you have a real problem, <laughs> okay? Now the pair has been separated by this event horizon. Now they can both fall in, that's okay. But if one falls in and the other doesn't, it's stuck 